One of the most challenging skills to master as an American Mahjong player is picking a hand. In this video, we're going to do some random pulls where I can demonstrate how to identify the strength in a dealt hand because that is where it all begins. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. When your tiles are in your rack, you need to arrange them. I recommend this order. Jokers, flowers, wins, dragons, then each suit in numerical order. Then you're going to look at your dealt hand and try to identify the strength of that hand. The first thing to look for are multiples. Multiples are pairs, pungs, and kongs. Gather tiles that support those multiples and fit a category on the card. If you don't have multiples, look for a predominant pattern that speaks to a category on the card. For example, do I have a lot of evens? Do I have a lot of consecutive run? Do I have a lot of odd tiles? Or maybe, do I have winds and dragons? If I have a lot of flowers, I might think about the addition category. So go through the categories on the cards systematically in your mind and compare it to the predominant pattern in your dealt hand to focus your efforts. We're going to do some random pulls so I can demonstrate how to do this. We are going to be non-dealer for these random pulls. So I'm going to get 13 tiles each time. For this dealt hand, we have a single wind, single white, single green. We do have some winds and dragons, but they're all singles. Here we have three dots, five bams, two cracks, but here's a multiple. That is where I would start. So I would look at the rest of my tiles and gather as many of them as I can to support that pair. And in this case, five through nine consecutive run. That I think is the strength of this dealt hand. Five through nine building around the eights. There are some consecutive run hands on the mock American Mahjong card that use the opposite dragon or even the matching dragon. So I think I would keep dragons. I would pass these. If I had to pick a hand right now, I probably would focus on five, six, seven, eight, second hand down but I would definitely say consecutive run is the best category for this dealt hand. For this dealt hand, I think I would focus on winds and dragons. North and south with dragons. We do have ones though. So I would hold the ones because we could do north and south with ones. And I think I would go ahead and pass those three and focus on winds and dragons with either dragons or ones. Maybe even hold the nine because we could maybe do a year hand with dragons, but we only have three discards. A year hand might be good here too. It might even be better than winds and dragons. News. We're missing flowers though. The two hands with dragons and the year. use flowers, pairs of flowers, the first one and the fourth one. 2019 with dragons right here. Or we could do 
the year with dragons here, or we could do news with the year if we can get flowers, of course, or we could do winds and dragons with ones or winds or north and south with ones, north and south with dragons. I think I would hold all these and discard those and see what comes in. Either the year category or winds and dragons. And those two categories, a lot of times, you can tandem with those two categories. Basically play both categories until you run out of discards. And then whittle down to one category depending on the strength of the hand. And right now we could do either. We have news. I would play something with news. This is filmed in 2019, so I think I would probably play a year hand. Maybe discard these and focus on year tiles, leveraging news. Sometimes the predominant pattern may be news because it is a block of single tiles. And here we even have 2019. All we need is a white dragon in there. This could even maybe be the pair hand. We would have to sacrifice this joker. But the pair hand on the Mock American Mahjong card has news with 2019 and two suits. We are missing flowers though. So I think I would probably play Oh, we could keep the dragon actually because the news concealed hand uses the opposite dragon and we need the flower here too. I think I would probably give up on the pair hand and keep the joker and maybe discard one of each suit and focus on the concealed year hand. So the strength here would be news. I, I would say that would be a pattern, predominant pattern. And for the Mock American Mahjong card, news is in every category, but quince and addition. We have no multiples, but I do see a pattern, 2468, 2468, even all the 2468 in one suit are there, 2468, here's 2468 in one suit. I would say 2468 would be the strength for this hand. because of the pattern, no multiples at all. So I would leverage that pattern. If I were to have to pick a hand, I probably would play third hand down, flowers, two, four, six, eight, and one suit. But I would still hold all 2468 till I ran out of discards and gather. But 2468 in one suit might work.
for this dealt hand, we do have a multiple eights, but no other big numbers. We do have some two, four, six, eight potential evens around these eights, two, two, four, six. I think I would play evens here, evens in mixed suits. On the Mock American Mahjong card, there is a hand in one suit that uses evens, but we ha only have a pair of eights. So I don't think I would keep the West. I probably would pass that. There are two hands that use the opposite dragon. So I might keep that red dragon. We have enough discards to where we can keep this dragon. So I probably would play two, four, six, eight here. I would say that would be the strength of this dealt hand. Two, four, six, eight. I think I would try for maybe a quint. Like numbers with dragon quint or like numbers with sevens. Like numbers with sevens, maybe even a quint. There are two like number hands, one where you have all the sevens in Kongs and a pair of flowers and one with news and flowers with two Kongs. I would pass those three and play like numbers, maybe even like numbers with a quint. That would leverage multiples. We have four flowers, south, red, two, five, eight, six, and four. Here's a multiple. Anytime I have a multiple and flowers, especially three or more, I think about addition. For the mock card, addition is four flowers and multiples of 10. So six plus four is 10. We need one, a one crack and a white dragon for six plus four equals 10 in one suit. I think that's what I would try here. Six plus four, 10 for addition. And really the key with addition is flowers with the right multiples. And then whatever your sum is, in this case, 10, we do have a gap, but we're leveraging the flowers. For this dealt hand, we have a couple of jokers, multiples in twos and nines. For the mock American Mahjong card, there are no hands that use twos and nines together. We do have a quint that we could potentially play though with twos. A quint with twos. Use this as joker bait, discard those three and play a quint. Anytime I have two jokers or more and a multiple, I think about quints. This is pretty light, but we could maybe garner a joker with the joker bait. I would try to play a quint. There is a quint that's consecutive, so maybe even keep the one, two, 
one, two, if we get more, maybe threes and fours in dots for the quint. Discard those three. If you're playing a big hand, I would pass a white dragon. I would take the risk if I'm playing a quint. Look at all those cracks. Three, four, five consecutive run. That would be the predominant pattern and it would leverage multiples. That is fantastic. I would just play consecutive run one through five. The very first hand under consecutive run. Maybe keep the south because there is the consecutive run concealed hand with news. So I would discard these first and play consecutive run in one suit. No multiples. This happens all the time. So what you want to look for is the predominant pattern. For this set of tiles, I think I would probably play consecutive run one through five. Two, five, three, one, four, five, I would not pass like numbers, so I would whittle this down. We could maybe play even little odds, one, three, five. Since this is the healthiest run, maybe give up the two and pass one of each suit. So I think we're in between consecutive run or little odds here. One, three, five. And there are some hands that use the opposite dragon. So maybe something with bams and cracks. For this dealt hand, we have twos, nines, and eights. This is a good example of what to do when you have multiples that you can't use together. For example, we could play seven, eight, nine consecutive run in two suits and use this as joker bait or break it up in the Charleston. And that's, I think, what I would do because most of our tiles are seven through nine. So I probably would discard these hold this for joker bait and focus on consecutive run. Sometimes all the multiples don't go together. And in this case, we're building around the most of our multiples, eights and nines. Consecutive run would be the strength for this hand.
we have jokers, flowers, dragons, singles. We do have a 135 there, 135 matching dragon, but on the Mock American Mahjong card, there's only one hand that uses the matching dragon. That would be the second hand from the bottom and is actually doable here. I would play little odds, one, three, five. If you look at the odds category, there are usually maybe three hands, two or three hands that span one, three, five, seven, nine as a whole. All the others are going to be either one, three, five or five, seven, nine, which is why I call this little odds. Five, seven, nine would be big odds. So in this case, I would focus on little odds, one, three, five. And I would even maybe play the hand in this case. We have no gaps, little odds. Second hand from the bottom under odds. Five green matching multiples. Big odds, five, seven, nine. We could maybe use that to help with the nine. Discard those. This would build around two multiples. This would be the second hand from the bottom under odds. So big odds, one suit. I think if I were going to discard, I might discard those three. I try not to pass two year tiles together if I don't have to. We have pair west flower two five seven four five seven nine five nine. I think I would probably go with the pattern of big odds. Flower five seven five seven nine five nine. Big odds in mixed suits. Big odds in mixed suits. There are one, two mixed suit hands, one with flowers, one without. And then there's two one suit hands with flowers. So I would try for big odds here. There's even a, a big odds with news. So I would keep one of the wins and pass those. Focus on big odds, five, seven, nine. We have all the fives, so like numbers could be another potential leveraging the pair of fives. So either big odds or like numbers. I think there are way more tiles to use with big odds, but whenever you have all the tiles in each suit, like these fives, consider like numbers. I would say 
for this dealt hand, I would build around the white dragons. We don't have any year tiles. It's 2019 at the filming of this video. So I think I would play Winds and Dragons. On the Mock American Mahjong card, there is a news dragon hand concealed. So I think that's probably what I would focus on, Winds and Dragons. If year tiles came in, we might be able to play Winds and Dragons or the year category. But right now, we don't have any ones, twos, or nines. That, I think, would be the predominant pattern here, Winds and Dragons. Winds and Dragons category right here. Even though we don't have the dragons. I think for here, because we have flowers, maybe either east and west with green or north and south, with red, or we could use this as joker bait and play news Kong hand, the very first one. So I would say the strength here would be wins. Here we have a joker and a pair of flowers and pair of threes, pair of nines. Three, nine, three, six, nine. Keep the threes. In three, six, nine, there is a hand with the opposite dragon, but our three dot is not the right with the right tiles because it's knitted opportunity for mixed suits. So I probably would not use the dragon, but I would definitely say the strength of this dealt hand is 369. Maybe 369 in one suit. 369 in one suit, either the fourth or fifth hand down, but I would still hold all 369 until we run out of discards. That would leverage all the multiples here, that category. We have one multiple here with the dragon. I think we do have some three, six, nine potential here. Let's just count them. Five, three, six, nine tiles. And I believe there are some mixed suit options with the dragon. Second hand down with flowers. Three, six, nine right here. three bam, six dot nine bam. So we're missing a three bam, but I would play three, six, nine and just hold all three, six, nine. I don't think I would pick a hand yet. I would play the category until we ran out of discards. But there are tiles to work with here.
for this dealt hand, we have a pair of flowers and nines. I think what I might do here is play like numbers with nines. Like numbers with nines, maybe a year hand, 2019. Let's see, maybe the pair hand, 2019 pair hand. That's what I would do here. News and 2019. Last hand under singles and pairs, pair of flowers, news, the year in two suits. That's what I would do here. Depending on the year, you could maybe switch to like numbers because as you can see for 2019, we'll have nines in two suits. So I think a pair hand might work here. I would discard those or maybe these, so you're not passing an eight and a nine together. The purpose of random pulls is to train yourself to identify the strength in a dealt hand. This is the first step to picking a hand. If you have a set of tiles at home, give it a try. It will build your confidence if you practice. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.